us today. Hare Krishna, let us offer our humble obeisances and gratitude to our dear Shri Shri Radha Govinda. And Gauranitais. We learned, right? What are we are trying to understand? One is Nitai, one is Nimai. And these are our little Radha Krishna. Okay. Radha Govinda details, the main details. And we have Nimai and Nitai. Along with that, Radha Krishna details. Okay. Later, we learn about the other Acharyas as well. Okay. Let's offer our prayers. Om Agnana Timira and Dasya Agnana Anjana Shalakaya Chakshurum Militam Yena Dasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Namaho Vishnu Padhaya Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale Shri Mati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namini Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Precharini Nirvishishai Shunyavati Pasheta Dishetarini Jayo Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Kadhadhara Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Thank you Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Thank you all. So now, what we are going to do is, we are going to recite the shlokas. Whoever has memorized the shloka, you can raise your hand and you can recite now. Yes, please. Puna, start. Tapasam, Serva Luka, Maheshwaram, Shadam, Serva Bhutana, Minasaman Shanti, Richete, Harikshna Mataji. Yes, please. Harikshna Mataji. Bhutaram, Yanga Tapasam, Serva Luka, Maheshwaram, Serva Luka, Maheshwaram, Suradam, Serva Bhutana, Yatma, Mam Shanti, Murchati. Hare Krishna, thank you. If at all you're not able to turn on the video, it's okay. We'll fix it in the coming days. Okay, fine. Let's yes. continue. Anyone likes to recite the translation also? Translation is nothing but our peace formula. What is a peace formula? First one is Krishna is the yes, supreme enjoyer. Supreme enjoyer. Yes. Next point. What am I supposed to remember? Krishna is the supreme controller. Supreme controller. Next, Krishna is the best friend. Whoever wants Krishna as best friend, you can say Krishna is my best friend. I am best 
friend. Very good. Yes, every one of us have got the wish, desire that Krishna should be our best friend. Let us all pray and Krishna listens to devotees. He will become our best friend. In today's class, chapter 6, we will be learning about Dhyana Yoga or Atma Samyama Yoga. Even the title Sankhya Yoga also is given. You see this word yoga, yoga everywhere. What is yoga? Is bending and stretching our body is yoga? Is this yoga? Can we see? What are this person doing? He's trying to showcase his power. Is this described in any of the scriptures, Acharyas or Ashtanga Yoga? That person, I don't know where is the head. Can you locate the head in this picture? Where is the head of this person? Oh, no, that is no, no, there is no head. head. No head. Who is told to hide the head and said this is yoga? Has anyone told? No. 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 This is just their own philosophies. They'll make other things, new, new things, so that what? People will get attracted. Here, if a people are getting attracted, they'll pay money. In this picture, if people are getting attracted, they'll give more likes in social media. That's why they do. We should not get fooled because these people are saying this is yoga. This is not to be taken just because they're saying. And some people say, you come to our village, you come to our resort, we will give an acupuncture and you can see goat will stand on you and massage. That is a goat yoga. <laughs> will you be interested to make a goat stand on you? No. No, ma'am. No, I will not be interested. What if it is making some dirt over me? I should be careful. I should not get all these things covering my head and my intellect will go down. You know, as lockdown was there, online classes and what people did, every time you are sitting, right? So we have designed a new yoga. So new people will come up with new yoga called as chair yoga. Is this yoga? Do you agree? This is all yoga given to our body. No, 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 no. So let us check what and all they are trying to fool us. Sometimes what happens? They say you sit in a front of desktop system. There's desktop yoga and you become a pregnant. Pregnant yoga is there. If you want to lose your weight, some people will be large, right? They will be hefty. Fatigue will be there. So come to us. We will help you to lose the weight. We have got a special yoga technique for that. They're trying to attract people so that they can make money. Like with chair yoga is there, mental yoga. And if you have to win, other yoga is there. They'll call in bus stand. If you stand and they see you, little sad, they'll invite you. Saying that, come, we have got a special yoga. This is a secret yoga. You can become successful in your business. For students to get marks, we should not get misled. No one will like to try this. So what exactly is the meaning of yoga? Yoga is the word which is split up to connect to God. Huge means we are trying to connect. Whom are we trying to connect? Who is God? Who knows who is God? Krishna. Krishna. So we are trying to connect to Krishna. That is yoga. Not only the stretching, that is physical exercise. In school also we do physical exercise. PT period will be there. That is called as exercise period, physical exercise. Yoga means trying to connect to God. Next, what are the few examples of yoga? Few people do karma yoga. They do all the works and give the results to Krishna. That is karma yoga. Jnana yoga, they try to learn about Krishna. Ashtanga yoga is there. But whatever people are doing now, that is not Ashtanga yoga. Ashtanga yoga includes like pranayama, dhyana, dharana, samadhi, all those eight limbs of yoga is there, which is prescribed in Patanjali yoga sutras also. Whatever people are trying to showcase is not this correct one. Bhakti yoga is the topmost. Now, whoever is getting trapped, you would have seen spider web like this in any corner of your house or in the whole building. Yes, yes, Mataji. Ma I see in TV. You have seen in TV. Yeah, what happens if at all any insect is entering inside the spider web? Can it come it out easily? No. 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 What happens? It is getting spider stuck. Spider is in a tree. When man is there, spider will beat him. 
yeah if at all it is there anyone is getting stuck spider will get to know that is my food and what it will do it will go and eat it up now just like a spider web people are getting attracted to different types of yoga as if the anand says that you can become successful they'll follow some yoga if you can lose the weight they'll follow some yoga you can become beautiful means again they'll follow some yoga that is not actually yoga they are trying to fool all of us we should be careful so now arjuna is going to ask certain question which is very very important you know the shloka mata ji can you recite first then okay can you can translate puna okay mata ji arjuna is surrendering to krishna and saying out his problem चंचलम हिमन कृष्ण प्रमाद्रृढ़ग्रह मे वायोरी वसुदुष्क हरे कृष्ण ये स्पूर्ण प्लीज ट्रांसलेट हरे कृष्ण माता जी फॉर द माइंड इज रेस्टलेस ट्रबल एंड एंड वेरी स्ट्रांग Oh, oh, Krishna, and the sub subdued is it. I think the, is more difficult than controlling the mind. Yes. What does Arjuna say? Arjuna is saying that my mind is restless. It is not at all stable. Sometimes it is thinking, should I fight? Sometimes it is thinking, why should you fight? And it is like asking me to lift the weapon. Other time it's like looking at the teacher. Dronacharya, drop the weapon. And again he sees Duryodhana, Dushyasana, lift the weapon. Again he sees Bhishma, drop the weapon. What is this happening? Why is all this confusion in my mind, Krishna? And this is very very difficult, Krishna. I cannot uh, handle this. So Arjuna is surrendering again and again and saying his problem to Krishna. Krishna, my mind is very very restless. And what he can do, Arjuna can control the wind. other day we were listening right arjuna got the pashupatastra from shiva he was able to win the lord shiva also but what is happening he is not able to fight against his own family members so what does arjuna say and let's listen a small story arjuna was very very powerful student he was a very good student excellent in his academics he was studying in gurukul and dronacharya was there once there will be a competition asking to hit the arrow where should they hit they should focus the arrow in the bird's eye is the bird directly in front close to arjuna no arjuna has supposed to eat the eye looking at the image in the water he has to see the reflection and see the bird and then hit bird is in tied up reflection is in the water he has to focus in the reflection and hit like this it is very challenging but arjuna did hit none of the other students in the gurukul was able to do arjuna was so capable means he is able to control his mind focus on one particular point and he was even able to win over lord shiva and shiv ji gave him the bo pashupatastra now it shows what arjuna is very very powerful he is determined what is happening now even though he is so determined he is not able to focus his mind is becoming very very disturbed so now comes a question is the mind of arjuna acting as his friend or his enemy sometimes happens to us also is my mind working as my friend or enemy right hare krishna so we can think over every time when i'm think for study what happens you'll decide tomorrow is a exam i'll sit and study i'll not get deviated i will not get disturbed after some time you hear some other kids playing then you'll be like should i go and play mind is already thinking to go and play At that time you stop studying sometimes even you will get up and go and you'll think my stomach is little hungry i will go and eat 
happens right many a times when we see what exactly is happening in our mind i'll sit for some practice deviation is there do you agree we get deviated yes or no yes. sometimes yes it is there now also when i was trying to prepare some book i was like thinking class is about to start what should i do it is there sometimes happens so what we can do what does krishna suggest us let's listen yes how can we decide whether my mind is a friend of mine or a enemy see if it is a friend it will help me how does it help if i am fallen it will help me to get up if it is like knowing tomorrow you have exam you are going to fall down if you are not studying it will help me to read if at all it is asking me to eat some good food it is your friend supporting you yes it is your friend it is asking you to study pack dress up well you know clean uniform take bath and get good remarks and also follow chanting and other devotional services then it is your friend if it is your enemy what happens when you see to work on something just like people who try to fight every time you'll ask come let's go to temple it will be like no i'll not come to temple no no let me go and play everyone is going for a movie i will go then you will start finding with your mind why my mind is not listening to me sometimes they will be like a ah, match will be there you have to see the match in a tv then you will be like i'll have to watch let me stop chanting then your mind is becoming your enemy you should be careful if at all it says it cries okay i want to eat something which is not healthy which is dead which is thinking then you should tell to your mind that is dead and take back make its friend and eat healthy food if at all your mind is taking over means it is becoming your enemy so what does krishna say bandur atman atmanas tasya enatmaive atmana jitah anant yes we'll get the chance re krishna an atmanas tu chatrutve varte atman atmaiva shatruvat so krishna says one important thing how should i be yes dhruvi please translate yes not hari krishna for he moves from god the mind the mind is the best of friends but for one who has failed to do so his very mind will be the greatest enemy hari krishna mata ji hari krishna so what does it say chapter number 6 verse number 6 says ंग your friend then everything will be smooth once you conquer the mind your mind will be your best friend what does the word conquer means you should get over your mind you should be controlling your mind then it is your best friend if at all you are failing to control the mind it will be your greatest enemy friend will save us from all the problems but enemy will come to kill us just like in war you would have seen right how people will try to kill the opponent people it will kill our all good thoughts so we should be careful what should i do i should control my mind okay krishna says one who controls the mind they will be having the best friend as their mind if they don't control it will be greatest enemy hare krishna hari bol as a lamp in a windless place does not waver so the transcendentalist whose mind is controlled remains always steady in his meditation on the transcendent self whoever is a sthira buddhi means whoever is steady minded they will be having complete control on the mind just like the lamp you would have seen most of the time the, when the lamp is lit if there is no wind blowing around it will be steady 
in case there is a strong wind it will turn off in between there is a medium wind it will be like shaking baby lamp right so what is happening if at all our mind is not controlled it is like a wind blowing our thoughts away so whoever is a strong person he will be able to control the mind and meditate oh yes you know wind can be very strong it can even uproot a tree or uproot a building means it can damage so many things it can make a tree fall uprooting of tree such a strong wind also arjuna can control but he is saying i can krishna i think it is more difficult to control the mind than controlling a wind i can control the wind if i say do you believe i can control the wind no no i cannot no. control the wind any other person if he just normally comes and says he cannot but arjuna he is a devotee of krishna he has got so many power he can control the wind when he can control the wind he is saying he is not able to control the mind so that is more challenging so it is not easy for every one of us it is little challenging we should accept yes sometimes i am not able to control then if we get back to krishna he will help us our mind is compared to monkey it is called as what monkey mind okay what happens sometimes your parents or your elderly persons will get some money for you as a gift and then you'll think yes i can offer prasadam for krishna then okay we'll say i have got so much of money i'll take many bananas and give to krishna everything and in between mind will be like why will you give everything to krishna you take one banana and give to krishna other you take some other playful items you can enjoy then no it will tell everything is coming from krishna half you give to krishna half you then take to you so many thoughts will start coming we should be careful because our mind is compared to monkey mind what does monkey do when it is sitting on a tree it will jump from one branch to another branch it will keep hopping right same ways our mind will start jumping from one thought to another thought so we should be very careful how should i control the mind there are certain steps given for different yugas we know how many yugas are there does anyone know how many yugas are there four yugas four four yugas yes now let's learn what and all we can do in different yugas we had seen in last class but this is a pictorial representation for our better understanding in satya yuga what is this person trying to do meditation meditation you see when he is sitting for meditation he is not sitting in the house in satya yuga they were supposed to go to jungle where no other living being is there and they have to sit human should be not there they cannot check away with other animals okay human being should not be there in the jungle they have to sit in a place which is elevated means little high and dear skin should be there you should sit straight like now when we are sitting it is okay you should sit straight like this and no should never bend down full body erect and they should close the eyes and just think about the god you know how many minutes he has to think you can guess you should just be thinking for hours days weeks months years you know there is a story which uh, uh, nnd prabhu and aishwarya mata ji are discussing in our daily bhagavatam class 8 o'clock past time a muni worships for 10000 years 10000 years is sitting and just meditating can i sit and meditate for 10000 years do you think that is possible no mata ji can anyone in this ji. world any other human being can sit for 10000 years no no but the no. first thing our life span how long are we going to live 100 years maximum or plus and minus here and there yes 10000 years was given in satya yuga now this is not meant for this yuga so what happens people will get fooled some people will say in satya yuga people are meditating come i will teach you meditation so you should tell them this was meant for satya yoga they were able to live and meditate for 10000 years it will take long time for meditation to sit and concentrate it 
requires n number of steps. So this is not meant for Kali Yuga. Then later came Tetra Yuga. In Tetra Yuga, what happened? Again, their life became small, short. Yes. Yes. Yeah, they were doing what? Fire sacrifice or yajna. Meditation is done in this way, right? We can hold yes. from, right? Then in Tetra Yuga, what they're doing? The sacrifice, Havana, they'll drop or they'll pour ghee, right? Mm. Satya Yuga is done, Tetra Yuga, they'll do sacrifices. And sacrifice was not for half an hour. Now the sacrifice, yajna, they will start half an hour or one hour or within one day, they'll complete off. Sacrifice when they yes. start, it used to continue for years together. The continuous Voma supply, all the ingredients should be ready. So much of ghee, so much of other danyas should be ready to perform. Now, if we ask, people cannot perform for one continuous day or at least one month. It is really challenging. Then they were performing for years. That is also not prescribed now. We got to know. In Vapara Yuga, what happened? Temple worship. They used to construct n number of temples. And every village, every grama used to have temple and they used to have a deity. And they used to do deity worship. How do we show the deity worship? Take a bell in on the left hand and the puja plate and do the arti. This is temple worship. Right? So, this is meant for Dwapara Yuga. What is meant for the Kali Yuga? Anyone remember? Chanting. 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 Hare Krishna. Chanting. And who has told? Our Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has told. Yes, for the Kali Yuga, it is chanting. Hare Krishna. Yes. Chanting. Chanting. So what is mantra? We should understand mantra has got two words here. Man means mind. Tra means deliver. So using this mantra, I can control my mind. I can deliver the mind. All the thoughts will be guided towards what we require. Lord Sri Krishna. There are certain research evidences as well. Scientists have discovered certain techniques to check how the brain is working, how the mind is being able to stabilize, stay calm, balanced before doing mantra and after doing a chanting. They were like surprised how these people in ancient time knew chanting will help. There was no device to prove. They were knowing everything correctly. How is this possible? So. The scriptural evidence, many scriptural evidence like Brihad Naradiya Purana says, in this age, Kali Yuga, people will start fighting. Give them any reason. You see in a bus stand, they'll yes. be like, I have to sit. How long will they stand in bus stand? Hardly for five, ten minutes or half an hour. Again, they have to go catch the bus, go to their destination, house or office or school or some other park or some place they have to go. But in between also, they'll find a reason to fight. This is my seat. This is my seat. So they find some reason. They'll start fighting. So this is a yuga where quarrel is everywhere. Quarrel is inside our mind also. Quarrel is outside between a people, between different state, different countries. Everywhere there's quarrel. How can I do? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is given. You can chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra. In Kali Santarana Upanishad also it is told. There is no other way other than chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. If some people ask you or say there is no evidence for chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, they'll not be knowing. First of all, some people don't know who is Krishna. And when you say chant Hare Krishna, they'll be like, what is that? Why should I chant? Then you can say there's so many scriptural evidences. If you don't want to Shastra evidences, if you don't want Shastra evidence, go and search in Google. Even in Google, there are so many research evidences published saying how the brain can be controlled using Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Read that, then come back to us. We will take you to Krishna. How will we take? We'll direct them to Prabhupada. Prabhupada will take care. Yes. And you know, in Srimad Bhagavatam also, we have a evidence. What says? Chanting of Hare Krishna Mahamantra will release us from all the bondage. 
will be having certain bondages, right? This I should do, that I should do, only then I will be going back to Krishna. This if I do, I will get so much of money. Likewise, so many other bondages are there in this material world. Everything will get cleared. All of our sins also will be taken care of just by chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Eva Kevalam, Kalav Nasteva, Nasteva, Nasteva Gatir, Anyata. There is no other way, there is no other way, there is no other way other than chanting. Yes, the easiest way to control the mind is what? Chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Apart from that, if you sit and do meditation, it will take thousands of years. If I sit and do temple worship, it will take lots of lots of construction charges. If at all individual I'm trying to do, it is very difficult. If it is authorized, then they can do. I every one of us cannot go and construct a temple. That is not authorized. Authorized. Or I cannot perform sacrifice also. Yajna requires so much. I cannot perform sacrifice for years together. Sitting and performing, I'll get leg pain also. Body pain will start. And getting all the danyas and ghee and so many other herbs, all the sticks, sacrificial sticks is challenging. Government, if they, if they see going to forest and getting the herbs, they'll be like, no, you should not get. This belongs to forest. So where will we get from? If you had to perform for thousands of years, we should be careful. That's why Krishna has given us. All this will happen. Krishna knows. So Krishna has given us that sit and chant. Na? Why you want to worry about like meditation, yajna or anything else? Sit and chant. Hare Krishna, that is easy. Yogi nama pi sarvesham madgate nantaratmana shadda van bhajate yomam same yukta tamumataha. Okay, so who can translate? Hare Krishna. Matajai. Hare Krishna Matajai. Hare Krishna Matajai. Hare Krishna Mataji. Yes, Puna, start. And of all yogis, the one with great faith who allows, allows, admits in me, mm -hmm. think, thinks of me within himself and redness, redness, transcendental love, loving service to me. He is the most I, I team me, and united yeah. with me in yoga and is the highest of her. That is my op opinion. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna, thank you so much. Krishna is saying here, what is Krishna's opinion? There's something highest of everything. If at all one is always thinking about Krishna, how to serve Krishna, how to please Krishna, how can this particular life can be used for Krishna service? That is transcendental loving service. That will please Krishna. That is the highest of all. When Krishna is saying something, we should very, very attentive listen and follow as well. Some will say, you do this yajna, Krishna will be pleased. Or you go and sit in forest for 10 years. Krishna will be pleased. Or give me some amount, I will tell you how to meditate. Be careful. What does Krishna say? Krishna says to think about Krishna, work for Krishna, do all the services for Krishna. That is the highest. If someone tries to fool us around, we should be careful and say, you know, where have you got this evidence? Give the Shastric evidence. Then they'll be like, oh, this person already knows about Krishna. I cannot fool him and he will run away. Serving Krishna with purified senses is Krishna consciousness. Once we start thinking about Krishna, even our senses will get purified. All the senses purified, thinking about Krishna is Krishna consciousness. And then my mind will be having a perfect control. In I will be having perfect control over my mind. So there are different yoga. Krishna says about all the yogas. First he told about karma yoga, jnana yoga, ashtanga yoga also Krishna says. But above all is what? Bhakti yoga. Now you imagine the best example they give is you have to go climb 10 buildings at a stretch or 10 floors. No, we'll take 100 floors for our understanding. That will be easy. 
you have to go to 100th floor you are in the second floor now there is a lift and there is a staircase will you choose a lift or staircase will you choose to climb one step by another step go to 100th floor or will you choose a lift or escalator oh sorry yes what do you choose lift lift lift, lift master yes we all are knowing if at all i take time to go to the 100th floor there is my class then i will waste my time and energy there instead of that i'll have to make sure whatever the time is given in the human life is very small i should continue for krishna chant hari krishna that is easy that is bhakti yoga that is a ladder it will directly take us instead of that if you want to climb all the staircase also you can sometimes people will not be able to complete in one lifetime they'll take another life and they'll complete maybe sometimes 10 lifetime sometimes 100 lifetime if at all we have to quickly achieve what does it say take to bhakti yoga in the beginning itself anyone can take to bhakti yoga whoever it is whether it is a small kid or a female or a male whoever is born in any part of the world can take up to bhakti yoga directly instead of going to all this different types of yogas krishna says bhakti yoga is highest and it is dear to krishna then why to neglect right that is we should understand choose wisely krishna is the god he is supreme personality of god and his person his form is very beautiful what is the form called of krishna sham sundar sham sundar sham sundar form is always sachidananda vigraha yes hari krishna now let us look into a story quickly we'll look into a story of blacksmith and cobbler so what happens in a story of blacksmith and cobbler this particular story we will try to understand the teachings from bhakti siddhanta saraswati takura who is bhakti siddhanta saraswati takura the teacher of our shila prabhupada okay i'll give chance to you both please unmute and continue one slide after other okay be ready Hare. Yes. Hare Krishna Mata Ji. In the village, Vilas Vilaspur, there lived a blacksmith named Vam Vam Vamacharan. Vamacharan. Yeah. So this is easy to understand. Vilaspur village is there. There is a blacksmith. Means he is a cobbler working with the irons and all, and he is trying to do some work. Activity which is assigned. His name is Swama Charan. Yes, Ruby. Once he went to visit his potter friend in village Haripur. Oh my God! Oh my friend, Swam Charan. So nice to see you. Hare Krishna, Mata Ji. Hare Krishna. So he is going to a village called as Haripur, where his friend is there. Sometimes he go to our friend's house also, right? Likewise, he is going to visit his friend, and his friend is very happy. He is saying. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you, Amma Charan. Hare Krishna. You seem to be very busy with lot of others. Let me help you with your work. This way, you can finish all the work fast and then spend time. Spend time together. Hare Krishna, Mata Ji. Hare Krishna. So, as a good friend is saying, you have got lots of order, and I am seeing that you have got small amount of time, short duration. I will help you. We can have, work together, have nice time with us, like friends. Always try to spend. Yes, Ruby. Yes, my dear Krishna. Surely, my friend, whichever way you think you can help me, order Hare Krishna, my dear. Hare Krishna. So friend will be like ready to take a help from a friend. If someone comes stranger and will ask to help, will be like thinking why is he trying to help me? But when friend comes, yes, he is very happy to take the help from a friend. The blacksmith observed the potter working with hammer. Hare Krishna, Mother. Hare Krishna. So what does he do? Blacksmith. Who is the blacksmith? His friend who has just come. He sees his friend is working something with hammer with a pot. So what does he do? Hare Krishna, Mother. Let me help my friend finish the order faster. 
So he thinks he can. Are you Krishna? He thinks he can help the friend harder, faster. And what does he do, Purna? Although I can give better shape to these pots and make my friend happy, am I an expert blacksmith? Let me hammer them like I do it every day and give them nice shape. Hare Krishna, Mata Ji. Hare Krishna. You should understand one concept here. Potter is working with pot. It is very delicate. If something hard, it's it will break. And he is a blacksmith. What does he do? He'll take the iron. Another iron will be hitting. Heat the iron, hit and make it a different shape. So he thinks, okay, now when I was working in my place, I was hitting hard, and I'll complete the work faster. Now let me help my friend as I was working. Then what does he do? Vama Charan. Yes, please. Yes, my dear. Now Vama Charan started to hammer the pots to give them better shape. Hare Krishna, Mother Ji. Hare Krishna. So he's thinking. Let me start hitting, and I will give a better shape to it. What happened? While trying to help this friend, Vama Charan broke all the pots. Obviously, when he was working with another iron, it is different. He is working with pot. He didn't think of uh, what did he do. He just hit the pot, and pot started breaking, and every pot broke. Yes, Ruby, please read. Hare Krishna, sir. The manner in which blacksmith hammers iron to give shapes to it is not meant for the for a potter to model clay. The method and technique of both them are entirely different. friend of material plastic worker usually develops a constipation that the devotion devotional service offered by a devotee for the okay this vacation of lord to sensorial activities they all belong to the same category in fact there is a real difference between the process and uh, the manner in the both such activities so called dispos disposition material activities carry carry value unless they are variable for the satisfactory devotional service to the lord and impersonalist Impersonal list worshipper of five elements, perfect of devotional service, surrender will only create more harm than good. Than and any pure devotee who is sincerely practicing the delicate process of satisfying the supreme Lord. Hare Krishna, Mother Ji. Hare Krishna, thank you so much. That's a long purport to read. Now. the long purport gives a very strong message to us what does the message say if at all we are working with the pot like delicate we can compare it to krishna consciousness that is also very very delicate just like a flower if at all i am keeping the flower in place and someone comes and stabs it flower will not be of any use later i cannot offer it to krishna we should be careful people will be there who will try to help us they will not be knowing sometimes unknowingly they will think they are helping us just like vamana charan vamana charan was doing right he was thinking that he was helping his friend he broke all the pots but it was of no use same is when people will come and give us misdirection towards krishna consciousness should be careful whether it is good or bad whether it is helping me towards the progression or it is harming my devotional service because devotional service we are trying to please krishna satisfy krishna if something is getting us undone we should be very very careful every time we should be alert that's a learning of our krishna conscious purpose for today yes hari krishna now let us offer one activity so this is a activity there is a story of ajamila we will be learning in upcoming classes in this will be posted in the group today what are we supposed to do we are supposed to trace back the active road path 
so that he can go to Haridwar. He has done some mistake. So, Krishna. Ajamila wants to repent. He wants to pay sorry for feelings to Krishna. So, he is going to Haridwar, which is a road that you can check and come. We can discuss that in tomorrow's class. Okay. Hare Krishna. Yes, let us all offer our humble obeisances and gratitude to Shri Shri Radha Govinda through our Prabhupada. Vancha Kalpataru Vishra Kruva Sindhu Bhe Vacha Padita Nam Pavani Pyo Vaishnavi Pyo Namo Namaha. Ananta Koti Vaishnavi Rundha Ki. Jai. Shri La Prabhupada Ki. Jai. Jai. Bhagavad Gita Ki. Jai. Jai. Yes, we can all unmute and chant. Three times. Hare Krishna. Okay. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Krishna, Krishna, 